Jesus wants to know today, what do you think about him? Jesus wants to know today, who is Jesus to you? You're saying, Randy, why is this so important? Why, why are you making a big deal about it? Why was there a passage in Scripture about that? Why are you making a sermon about this? Why is this so important? Because of this truth. The truth is this. What we do with Jesus will affect us forever. What we do with Jesus will affect us forever. You're saying, well, how so? How is it going to affect me forever? Ecclesiastes 3.11 says this, God has planted eternity in the human heart. What's he saying there? The Bible teaches that we were made for eternity. The Bible teaches is that we are going to live forever. Write this down beside your sheet. We are immortal. God made us immortal. We're going to live forever. But yet, notice what Matthew 25, 46 says. It says, those who reject Jesus will go away to eternal punishment, but those with God's approval will go into eternal life. You see, not only will we live forever, the Bible says we're going to live forever in one or two places, heaven or hell, smoking or non-smoking. We were designed, we were made to live forever, and we will live forever in one or two places. You're saying, well, Randy, how do I make it to the non-smoking section? How do I make it to heaven? We'll never forget what Acts 4.12 says. It says, no one else can save us. Indeed, we can be saved only by the power of the one named Jesus and not by any other person. Do you see why I say that what we do with Jesus affects us forever? Guys, I hope you understand. You're at a crossroads today. You're going to look back 10,000 years from now and you're going to remember this moment. And you will either be blessed by your choices or you will be cursed by your choices. You will be filled with regret or you're going to be filled with thanksgiving. 